What you see before you is a total lack of respect of authority. Francisco Chiazzo, Gus De La Vega, Rich Ford Ayala. See, tonight we went back to the old neighborhood and we're going to be debuting a brand new member of the set. Dale. <laughs> oh yeah, tonight a new member will be shown tonight. But tonight is a Cyclone Deathmatch. And you guys better be ready because we've been dealing with death matches all our career. So you guys better get ready. Get it, Ricky. You know what, kid? Let me repeat it. Cyclone death match. Do you people hear it? This is a match that we know. You know why? Because we're from the hood. We're from New York City. And we are the perfect individuals to begin this match. We are going to lay the standard. We're going to let John Hudson know. We're going to let Chungus know. We're going to let Simon know. We're going to let Devin know that we are the winners. That we are the champions. We are the set incorporated. Our time. Ya tu sabes. <laughs> Michael James sitting here with Tito Torres. Tito coming back off an eight month hiatus. What's on your mind? You know, James, I've been gone for eight months, and in those eight months, I've, I've had a lot going on. I've been dealing with depression, anxiety, mental health issues, my life at an all-time low. But now I'm back, and after my big win at the WWN Do or Die event, now I've got the shot and the chance to make it all come true. To be a champion again. Because this, being in the professional wrestling ring, that's what gives me drive. That's what gives me passion. And Daniel Starlin, I want you to listen real close to this. Because tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, you're gonna see exactly why I don't just want this championship, why I need this championship. My blood boils because I love professional wrestling. I love everything about it, and I'm gonna show you exactly why, win or lose, at the end of the night, everybody's gonna be chanting, Tito, Tito, Tito. Because I'm back for a reason. Hey, why don't you get these people to calm down and 
shut up. I can barely hear my voice over there. Well, look, we are packed out here tonight at the WWN Pro Wrestling Training Center because we have an incredible card set for the fans tonight. And Vic Slowly, and I know you've got to be excited, too, for what we've got coming up. I am absolutely excited. I'm excited about this match right here. This match has been coming down the pike. I think Tito Torres, a strong contender. But I'll tell you, one of the greatest ACW Cruiserweight Champions, if not the greatest, Daniel Starlin in that ring, of course, with, of course, with his genius manager, Aaron Nova. Well, I don't know if I'd call Aaron Nova a genius, but Daniel Starling has proven himself to be a true champion here at WWN Proving Ground. Now, Tito Torres, very interesting. This young man is fresh back after a eight month long hiatus. He had to take care of some personal business, some other areas in his life, and he is back. It's only been two weeks. He came up short his first week back, but then got a big win this past week at the Do or Die WWN Super Event, which earned him this title shot tonight. And I gotta say, Tito Torres is ready. He's told me that he has been working out harder than he ever has in his life, and he is ready to take that cruiserweight title tonight. I notice he's going in there a little slower, a little more methodical. I think he's got quite a plan, maybe uh, for the champion. Well, you've definitely got to have a strong game plan if you're coming in, taking on a man like Daniel Starling, who is an absolute tactician in the ring. Shoulder tackle down. It's the ropes. Tito, go ahead. Torres trying to use that speed, but I think right now Starling has to be careful of that speed and be careful of any new technique that Torres might be introducing in a match We're, like this. They're switching back and forth. We'll see who gets the advantage. Torres almost hit the ground, but here comes Starling. Shoulder tackle catches Starling up and over. Tito hits the ropes, flying clothesline, takes Starling down. A two count only by gentleman Jim Bragg, referee extraordinaire. Also quite a mini golfer, Jim Bragg, uh, I heard. Yes, I, I've, lost a, I've lost a time or two to the gentleman one on the mini golf course. See Torres right now, positioning himself on the ropes. Oh, there's that intelligence right there from the champion. Starling caught him, big right to the face. All right, look at that right there, using the elbow right onto the top of the head. He's just crushing in that cranium. That's what he needs to do to Torres. He needs to keep him on the ground, keep him off his feet, even if it's by a few, you know, bending, bending to the rules. But cheating, just say it, say it cheating, Vic Slow Man. Aaron Nova getting Starlin prepped here to do anything and everything he can against the challenge of Tito Torres. I also want to address the issue of Benji Neptune two weeks in a row, the Nova Alliance has been absolutely out of control in their attacks on Benji Neptune. Benji is one of the most popular wrestlers here at WWN Proving Ground. First he was assaulted two weeks ago in the parking lot. Then this past week, a masked assailant was hiding under the ring, attacked Benji, further injuring him. And Benji Neptune is not here this week because of that injury that he's a, that he was put on him, excuse me, by the Nova Alliance. I mean, what what can, is going to be done about this these egregious maneuvers by Aaron Nova? What's going to happen is Benji Neptune is stop going to showing up. Stop showing up on Proving Ground. There'll be no more Benji time. No, no, no. Finally, the Nova Alliance could move on. I guarantee that's not going to happen. Benji Neptune will be back here at WWE Proving Ground. I'm just not sure exactly when. I think that kid set him up the first time, honestly. Starling goes for the suplex, blocked by Tito, goes again, Tito blocks it again, and a cradle suplex brings Starling over. Beautiful move, definitely changed the course of this match. Let's see what Torres has left in his gas tank, though. The fans completely behind Tito Torres here, trying to cheer him on to victory. And I've got to tell you, I really feel like Tito Torres, this could be his night. We shall see. I'll tell you, it sounds like the crowd is behind us. I, I don't like that one bit. They are very loud tonight here at the training center. Look at those rights. Check on those rights, Raph. 
Big jabs by Torres. Misses a follow-up right, though. Counter by Starling. Hooks him right now and brings him over hard with the neck breaker. One, two, two count only. Very, very close there. I'm, I'm going with Nova. I thought that was a three. He had him right where he wanted him. The captain is always right in these issues. You know that. Well, Starlin needs to stay on top of Torres right here as he has him reeling. But Tito with the counter. Hooks him. Thought he was gonna go, what? Wait, wait a minute, Starling, he's just out of the ring. Well, what is going on here? He saw something nefarious going on with Tito Torres. He's trying to pull a move that obviously wasn't part of the regulations. Of is Starling just leaving? I think he's taking a break. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you've gotta be kidding me. Is Starling just literally left because of Torres being on top here? This can't be, are you kidding me? Well, I take back everything I said about Daniel Starling being a fighting champion. Come on, Tito Torres. My God. Tito Torres in full control and Daniel Starling just simply left rather than continue in the ring with Torres. Well, as unbelievable as it seems, Starlin is still your champion. Something obviously nefarious happened to Tito Torres in that ring. Something he was cooking up. I don't know about that, but I guarantee things are not over between these two. Andy Mack is following after him, and they are fighting apparently to the back. I'm gonna have to check over on this. This is insane. Well, I want to know is, is Commissioner Rick Thames here tonight? What is going on? I'm not sure what is going on tonight. Think Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by forfeit, Martin Law. So apparently, Martin Law. He has won his WWN Proving Ground debut due to a forfeit 
because of star of the show Andy Mack attacking Stephen Frick. But I want to reiterate, that was revenge for what Stephen Frick did to Andy Mack last week after Proving Ground in the locker room. By taking a man's paycheck, that is revenge. Well, Michael James standing here with Stephen Frick. That is Mr. Stephen Frick. Didn't you learn? Didn't you learn? Everyone's going to learn. Just like Andy Mack learned when I cracked his head against this locker. Martin Law traveled a long way from the UK just so I can make an example of him. Because he's going to learn what everyone else is that I am Mr. Stephen Frick. Michael James standing here with Drake Xavier and Chase McCoy. Where's little John? It's, he can't make it. It's fine. It's okay. But anyways, you guys have a big tag team matchup tonight. Big, big, big tag team. Listen, it doesn't matter what tag team match it is. If it's not a good for the titles, it's not a big match. Right? I'm going to win. Yeah, we are. Okay, listen, me and Chase, we've been working out our differences. Uh, hence the armor. He can hit me more. <laughs> yeah. That tag team. Anyway, me and Chase, we've been working our stuff out. We're but on the same mindset now, ever since joining Nova Association, everything has just been rolling out better for us over and over again. So everybody, watch your backs. We got the psycho Budsaw Chase McCoy. No, 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 don't forget. I won't. Don't worry. And then after 20, Drake Xavier, we are on the same page now. Drake, where's Josh? Who? A, a <laughs> Prince of Dutch. Josh sold us, remember? That's how, that's how I got this. We're on the same page now. So everybody, watch out. Because we'll be keeping everyone below us. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is scheduled for a one fall. the full school. Let me tell you something. Vic Slohan is a true broadcast journalist. journalist. I went in and I downloaded an app just like everybody else and now I have my credentials. So that's what well, I'm saying. Well, I don't know about all that, but okay, we have an interesting tag team match here. Damien of the Puerto Rican Hound Dogs with the Mass Marvel. I've never seen this guy before. Taking on Drake Xavier, Buzzsaw Chase McCoy. These guys have had kind of an interest in last several weeks here at WWN Proving Grounds as far as they were managed by, well, somebody else that's no longer here. 
they, they Aaron Nova, him. they upgraded, okay. Well, Aaron Nova bought the contract of Drake Xavier and Buzzsaw McCoy was apparently thrown in as part of the deal as a bonus. But Buzzsaw McCoy and Drake Xavier, while being both incredible talents, have not had much cohesiveness as a tag team. To be honest with you, I don't think these two guys like each other. Well, you know what, that's where this is gonna change. You see, Buzzsaw, he's upgraded now. Now he's got the captain on his side, giving him the instruction that he solely, solely deserves, because exactly, he's a great athlete. He just needs to listen to just good information and good instruction. Yeah, yeah, about how to cheat, how to lie, how to steal. The little things, the little ins and outs, like right there, making sure it goes right to that rib cage. Well, the mass marvel, I, you know, I, I'm not gonna give this guy very good odds here of surviving this match with Buzz Saul McCoy and Drake Xavier. Not sure where they found this guy. If he was just wandering the streets, then they put a mask on him. But he is taking a beating right now. And you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at Aaron Nova. Obviously, he's really enjoying yeah. watching his men beat on this kid in the ring with him here. Oh, yeah, his Cruiserweight Champion got to defend his title. He's got his awesome tag team in here destroying people. Benji Neptune's not on the show. What's not to love about the captain tonight? Well, there's a lot not to love about him, in my opinion. But Drake Xavier and Buzz McCoy, I'll tell you right now, if they could get their act together, which it looks like they're doing right now, they could be serious contenders for the ACW Tag Team titles. In fact, Drake Xavier was formerly um, in a very powerful tag team with Tweedledye, who we haven't seen in a while. But again, if they would get their act together, I could see them as becoming a very serious threat to the Mad Men at Work. Excuse me, not the Mad Men at Work, the set. The set I'm sorry. The tag team champions, and you're right. They're doing a lot better tonight. They look more cohesive than I've ever seen them. And I think they're definitely going to be able to climb up that beautiful ACW ladder and get a shot at those tag team belts down the line. Well, I had a little bit of a slip when I said Mad Men at Work, who are the former champions in the current top contenders to the set. Which, that's debatable. Well, in comes Damien. He's on the attack. Close line, ducks the line. Big kick to Buzzsaw. Ducks under Xavier. Belly to back. Suplex takes Xavier down. Going for the pin. But Buzzsaw McCoy breaks it up right there. Damien fighting back. Almost took out Gentleman Jim Bragg right there. Hope he's okay. The poor guy can't take much more, I don't think. I'm not sure that Damien Gemini wanted to be tagged out by the Masked Marvel. He was doing pretty well in there. Xavier has him up, gut wrench, suplexes him over, and the Masked Marvel, I do believe, is about to be put away. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Tag by Buzzsaw McCoy was more of a chop that hurt Xavier. Buzzsaw comes in, drops him down, and gets the win for their team. Listen to instruction. Listen again. to instruction, you get the win right there. Well, they got the win, but again, these two just cannot seem to get along. And again, get their act together, and you're seeing a very formidable tag team. There you go, keep. Michael James standing here with the mastermind, Jay Sky. Tonight you face the star of the show, Andy Mack. But you guys do have a brief history with each other. What do you like to say? So, yeah, me and Andy Mack do have history, right? Have you seen what we've done? He's won one, I've won one, and we never had a big blow-off match, right? But this is, this is the day we, I, I vindicate that, right? I gotta show that I'm the best at what I do here at the Proving Ground. Right? Because that's one of my missions, that's one of my goals, that's one of the reasons I came back. And tonight, once and for all, I put an end to the star of the show, Andy Mack.
Coming to the ring now. Oh, wait a minute, there's Steven Frick again. Oh my God, these guys just cannot keep their hands off of each other. They're like two high school kids on a prom date. Well, as you know, Sean Davis, this is revenge for what happened two matches ago. When it, well, when this fight just doesn't want to stop, Vic Slow, man. I, I gotta tell you the truth, this could ruin both of their careers. They're just nonstop, pure hatred on each other. Wins and losses don't seem to matter, obviously. Well, something's gonna have to happen here. Commissioner Rick Thames is gonna have to do something to make these guys settle this score. This, uh, this feud is out of control here. I can't remember the last time anything like this has happened at Proving Ground. Absolutely, you're gonna need... We have no water in here whatsoever. These guys could fight all over the place. They, they could fight in the Hernando County. Well, this, uh, this definitely could end up in the parking lot. I'm not sure. They could end up on US-19. I don't know. They could end up at the Walmart across town. I don't know what's going on. Again? Well, apparently this is just the kind of night it's going to be here at Puma Grand. You just never know what's going to happen. But wait a minute, wait a minute. That's Martin Law. Martin Law is back. Why is he here? He already won earlier. Well, he won his match earlier. Apparently, he wasn't happy with the easy night. I came all the way for the United Kingdom to wrestle for you guys, and I want to win it by fair and square. No problem. Is he kidding? He actually wants to fight with Jay Sky? Well, this could be a very, very bad move for Martin Law, but you got to admire his courage. Like the crowd's decision is going to factor into this. Sky, take the win and take the night off. Look, I'm sure you don't want to go out like that. Win by forfeit. So, what do you say? Do you want to go? Do you guys think I should do it? No. Well, absolutely not. No. Oh, Jay Sky. Turning on the fans. So listen, you know what you can do? You know what you can do? Are you scared? You can get out of this room and go home. Are you scared? Oh. Jay Sky obviously wants to take the easy paycheck tonight. He won by forfeit. He's going to get the winner's share of the parade. Wait a minute. Tax Martin Law from behind. And the referee signals for the bell, and Jay Sky is on top of Martin Law here. So I guess we do have an impromptu match here, Vic Slohan. Yeah, just like I predicted. I knew that Jay Sky would fight this guy. He is the mastermind. He is right now one of the hottest wrestlers in Proving Ground. There's no doubt about it. Jay Sky, who cut his teeth at WWN ACW back in the day in the tag team division, but has made it clear that he is here for the Proven Ground Heavyweight title. That's what he has in his sights. But Martin Law, a big star over in the United Kingdom, come all the way over here to compete at WWN Proven Ground, and he was not gonna walk away with the easy paycheck tonight. He came here wanting to fight, and he's gonna fight now with Jay Sky. Well, that was a silly, silly idea right there. I mean, you got the win, you had the paycheck, and go back home. You know, tell how you tell all the folks how you won in America, and now Martin Sky's gonna eat you for lunch in the middle of this ring. Well, Jay Sky, gorgeous suplex right there, brought Martin Law over, hooks the leg. This could be over. No, one count only. Martin Law was not worn down enough. Jay Sky, you know, both these guys are at a disadvantage here. Neither one of them prepared for the other one at all. They both had other opponents on the schedule. Martin Law come back with those forearms, but big knee, knee by Jay Sky to the midsection. Scoops Martin Law up, body slams him down, almost put him right through the ring. Yeah, in a sense for Law for uh, Jay Sky, this isn't a great idea either. He said Law is from Black Blackpool, England. Yeah, that's a legendary place for grapplers over there and submission artists. Yeah, you got guys over there like William Regal, you got guys that are tough as nails over there like Mick McManus, you know. With Jay Scott, you gotta be careful, because that's ingrained into Law right there. I don't know if he's more of a high flyer or maybe more of a technical wrestler. Well, I think he's more of a brawler than anything from what I've seen in the past, but we're gonna see right here how he stands up against somebody with the caliber of Jay Sky. Right now, well, he's fighting back, he's fighting back. 
Oh, European uppercut. European there, obviously, yes. That's an authentic European uppercut with an authentic, authentic um, forearm there. Well, I liked how earlier he was working on Sky's midsection, trying to get him down to size. He's given up a little bit of a weight advantage in this match. A little bit of the mastermind confusion there, but Jay Sky caught him with that savat kick to the face. Picks him up. Jawbreaker by Martin Law. Seconds count to matches so much like this, don't He's coming him. back, sends him in, reversal by Jay Sky, but comes back with a clothesline. And Jay Sky is rocking here. Law sets him up. Comes up, hangman neckbreaker, beautifully executed. Brings Jay Sky down, goes for the pin. One, two, two count only, but very, very close, Vic Slohan. That would have been a major upset here in Proving Ground. Right now, Sky needs to get it back together. He needs to get back on his feet quickly. Well, I'll tell you, Martin Law, again, he is no rookie. This guy is very experienced over in the UK but he's in the ring with somebody that has maybe just an ounce more of experience than Jay Sky. Sky misses with a kick, but gets up. The beautiful Enziguri to the back of the head. This might be over. Jay Sky rolls him over, goes for the pin, hooks the leg. One, two, two count only. Martin Law kicks out. Just barely, I mean, that right shoulder was right on the mat. There we go, now he's gonna go work on those trapezius muscles. He's been doing this a bit in his recent matches. He has, he's working them over. Jay Sky getting frustrated by the fans here at the WWN Performance uh, Training Center. I've been disgusted and disappointed with them since the start of the show. Sky lifts him up, possible pile driver. Law Calutz trying to counter, blocks it once, blocks it twice, backdrops Jay Sky over. The beautiful move, let's see what it can do. Law setting him up for something. Oh, plants him face first on the mat. Goes for the big, could this be it? And a huge upset. Martin Law with the win. Well, I gotta hand it to this kid. He came over from Blackpool, England, had already won his match earlier, and was able to get that move in on Jay Sky and break up a very big winning streak. This is a huge win for Martin Law, and I'm sure we're gonna be seeing him again soon here at WWN Proving Ground. Michael James sitting here with the new kid in town, the cowboy kid, Andrew Mitchell. Andrew, tonight you're facing finally in your first one-on-one -on -one competition between Krieger. What are your thoughts? We well, see, this is proving ground for a reason. This is where the best of the best come to prove themselves in the ring. Just like I proved myself fighting 500 pound bulls, I was the best at it. Everyone knows me for bull riding, but you know what? I'm here to make my mark in proving ground. I'm here to be the best. I'm not here just to be here. I'm here to prove myself. I'm here to prove that the cowboy kid, Andrew Mitchell, is to be taken for real. Win, lose, or draw, I'm here to get better. But you know what? A win does sound pretty good. The cowboy kid. Yeehaw.
Mitchell, the Cowboy Kid, stepping in here tonight with the German Madman Krieger. Krieger has been an absolute wrecking machine for the few months he's been here at WWN Proving Ground, defeating one athlete after another with his vicious iron claw, Vic Sloan. I feel so bad for the Cowboy Kid. <laughs> I feel so bad. Well, I'll tell you, Andrew Mitchell, if anything, this kid has got some serious guts. I, I saw him last week. He actually was starting to get offense together. He goes in there every week. He has no fear. <laughs> but tonight it's a bad idea. Well, Andrew Mitchell, a true rookie here in the world of professional wrestling. But he steps up every chance he gets. He doesn't back down from any challenge. Like I said, this kid, he has a rodeo background. And when you grew up in the rodeo, riding bulls and uh, you know bronco busting stallions in the in the rodeo arena i guess you wouldn't have much fear anymore would you Vic Sohan? absolutely he's definitely got a tough heart in him he's trying to get the crowd against krieger that's not a really nice home welcome for krieger there he well say. krieger has not been he has not been very kind to the fans here at the wwn training center or the fans watching at home right now on YouTube or eventually be watching on ClubWWN.com. I know you are a member of ClubWWN.com, Vic Sloan. I know you've told me that before. Have you been catching up on all the years and years and years of incredible wrestling that are available exclusively to our subscribers? It's amazing. They have scores and scores of promotions from all parts of the universe. It's just crazy watching. I'll tell you, I get lost for hours. And then I oh, just... wait a minute. Big hip toss by Andrew Mitchell, followed up by a drop kick with Krieger in the seated position and this kid's here to impress tonight Vic Slohan. Absolutely he is. Nice move right there. He tries to see if he can go for a quick, no, will not go for a quick cover. Well, he dropped him right on his head but this might be a mistake if he's going up to the top rope right now. Oh my gosh. All these young rookies, they like to try to show off sometimes a little bit too much. Yeah. He gets stopped by Krieger. And there's Krieger taking What's his the follow up? Krieger with a big right on Andrew Mitchell in the corner. I heard there might even be some matches involving Vic Slohan on ClubWWN.com from back in the day. Well, uh, hopefully they're they're legal and all, but yes, ClubWWN.com, uh, I've been on there and it's been awesome. Krieger goes down after some forearm shots for the Cowboy Kid, Andrew Mitchell. Comes up, beautiful attempt at a moonsault, but missed it. There was no water in the pool right there. And this is in a very, very dangerous predicament from Andrew Mitchell right now in the ring there with Krieger, who obviously smells blood in the water right now. And he's putting the boots now to Andrew Mitchell, choking him out now with his boots. Oh, uh, things are not looking good right now, Vic Slohan, for Andrew Mitchell, the Cowboy Kid. No, but it's looking good for Krieger. I think I can sense what's coming up very, very soon. <laughs> he hooks him. Gorgeous vertical suplex brings him down hard. Beautiful technique by Krieger, I'll tell you. He might be one of the top singles wrestlers right now in the Nova Alliance, which means a definite shot down the line at the Proving Ground title. Uh, look at this right now, just pushing in onto the solar plexus. An atomic drop. Inverted atomic drop. Big boot by Krieger. And I think, I think this, I know what's coming up. I'm not going to tell you, because I think you already know also. Krieger sets him up and drops him hard. He says that's over, but I have a feeling, yeah, he's signaling right now for the, his finishing move, the vicious iron claw. He locks it on Andrew Mitchell, and I guarantee it is sayonara for the Cowboy Kid right now. All right, awesome win. That's right, I wanted to see that iron claw all night. The captain promised it to me. And Krieger with the iron claw, continuing his rise here in Proving Ground. Another big win for the German monster Krieger.
the people. Asha, Asha, body slam. What a match we've got here, Vic Slowhand. John Strange insisting on taking on Better Together by himself after Better Together severely injured the ankle of John Strange's tag team partner, Christian Mills, last week. John Strange wanted a rematch, and he said, I will take these guys on myself. So we have a very unusual situation here, Vic Slohan. This is the absolute definition of insane. This is crazy. Well, that's how he earned his name, Vic Slohan. I he know. Is. He's most certainly earned the name. I mean, he could have just wrestled maybe one of the two guys, you know, have a nice, solid singles match. But he can't face two of them. I mean, they're better together. You know this. Well, better together, a premier tag team, not just here at WWM Proving Ground, but in all of professional wrestling right now. I know they've been touring the world. I'm wondering if this is throwing them off a little bit because, I mean, let's face it, th this guy's game plan is just destroyed, really. Right, well, John Strange, he's one of those guys, you look at him and you think, what's he gonna be able to do? And he comes in here and he just amazes everyone that sees him wrestle. One of the toughest guys I have ever seen in a wrestling ring, Big Slohan. And the athletic moves this guy's able to pull out, the moonsaults, the, the, the crazy, the luchador moves. I mean, this guy can wrestle, he can fight, and he can fly. You know, you just took the words right out of my mouth. I should sue you for that, but yeah, absolutely. I saw him fly last week. Did Let's you see that move right there, Big yeah, Slohan? Yes. Beautiful waist lock takedown with authority, by the way. Trying to put him through the mat. I know that's what he wanted to do. These guys, they just gotta have that game plan. Two on one, just work down John Strange as best as you can. Well, I'm sure Better Together came in here with some sort of game plan of how they're gonna take advantage of this two on one situation, but you can't plan ahead for something like that, a punch out of left field by John Strange, followed up with a chop that had him rocking, sends him in, up and brings him straight down. Goes for the pin, two count only. John Strange is in control right now. It's actually a lucid, a lucid idea by John Strange, trying to get the pin early to make sure get a quick upset because I think the longer this match goes, the harder it's gonna be for the insane one. Oh, definitely, there's no doubt about that. Better together, 
have an advantage here in many ways, not just their, their tag team experience, but the two-on-one advantage and the fact that big backdrop right there. Right up into the lights. John Strange calling for the body slam. This guy loves the body slam. Oh, let's, uh, let's two of them though. They're better together. I think they can take advantage of this. Yes, they do. He wanted the body slam, and maybe both of them wasn't able to but picks him up. Not quite. And Excellent. a tag again. Blind tag right there. But Strange goes for the body slam, and a drop kick brings him down. See how he used that right foot, just connected directly. It was beautiful. There we go, rough it up a little bit. Rough it up on the insane one. Make sure you have them down though, because it'll be dangerous. What an incredible night we have tonight. I'll tell you, Vic Slohan, every week here at WWN Proven Ground, the action is hot and heavy, but particularly tonight, we've got so much going on. We've already had so much chaos here tonight. Yeah, this is a record-breaking night. We've had two forfeit victories, and then the two gentlemen with the forfeit victories faced each other. It's insane. We have so much more going on tonight. We got that big Cyclone death match going on. We're gonna get to the bottom of a lot of things. Hope happy that Daniel Starling was able to successfully defend his Cruiserweight well, no, he, well, he lost that match, by the way. He defended the belt, you know. I, I, Ori Gold getting very frustrated here that they haven't been able to put away John Strange in this two-on-one situation. They're doing everything perfectly, too. The quick tags going in and out. Beautiful suplexes, keeping Strange down on the ground, which is what they need to do. Tag to Hadar, he comes in, starts putting the boots to John Strange. John Strange not out of this by any stretch of the imagination yet, though. Hadar putting those blows down hard on insane John Strange. John Strange is looking for his partner. His partner is not here. I think maybe he's already forgotten that Christian Mills is not here tonight. Catches that big right right there from Hadar. And Hadar is heading up the ropes. He's climbing the ladder. Here comes Strange with a big right to the jaw of Hadar Horvitz right there. He could have broken some teeth with that shot. He might have knocked some out for sure. John Strange is setting him up for Superplex, but a block there goes down hard. Thanks to some help from Ori Gold who just hit the mat. Hadar up on the top rope. Let's see if he Here can he comes, he misses! Misses with the frog splash. John Strange out of the way. He needs to make that quick tag. He needs to make it right now. He needs to suck it up somehow. The fans getting behind John Strange, trying to cheer him on. Tag to Ori Gold. Here he comes. Ori's in, but catches the boot from Strange right to his jaw. And then the big forearm shot by John Strange. Tag to Hadar Horvitz again. Double team maneuver possibility. Breaks through the double clothesline. Comes back with the flying elbows. And better together goes down. Drop kick by John Strange. Another drop kick by John Strange. And insane John Strange is in complete control of this handicap match. I'm gonna hide behind you. I'm a little worried right now about John Strange. This guy is Go out of that. control. Could he do it? Double body slam by XJ John Strange. Hits the rope, splashes both men. Could this be it? Two count, two count only, but so close. Unbelievable. These guys are in deep, deep trouble. What is John Strange thinking of next? This guy is always going for some cra something crazy. He's going who to the top rope. Who would have thought? Boom, so misses by John Strange. This is the opportunity if Better Together is going to beat John Strange. They need to hop on it right now. Either that or just leave the ring. I mean, I'm, I'm a No, no, no. Not everybody is like Daniel Starling. Not everybody's just going to quit like he did. Oh, straight to the knee. Shades of, of Tanya Harding. Shades of last week against Christian Mills. This That's is what right. They need to do. That's right. They're going to injure, try to injure the ankle again, it looks like, of John. Oh, my God. Indian Deathlock into the drop kick from the oh no and this is over. John Strange obviously injured. Better together.
And you know John Strange would have never, ever, ever given up if he wasn't seriously hurt. It appears that Better Together has injured badly another member of the Crazy Boys here. Unreal. Better Together obviously on a quest to injure as many other tag team members as they can here at WWM Proving Ground. Michael James standing here with okay. Better Together. Yes, Better Together. All of us. First, you guys take care of Christian Mills That's last right. week. That's right. Broke his ankle, smashed the chip. This <laughs> week, <laughs> you guys injure insane John Strange. You guys yeah. broke his ankle. Number two. <laughs> I just want to know what's going on. What's going on? I don't think. Anything is gonna go on soon in the rhythm that we're dictating here at the WWN Proving Grounds. Is this the locker room? Is this the official locker room? I, guess. I don't know. Nothing is gonna go anytime soon because we are snapping everyone's ankles in this company and we're taking out the competition one by one. I don't know what's next. It's either descent, mad men at work, mad men at dog. I don't know how you call them, but face better together, and we're gonna snap your ankles. That's right. That's the best. Break them. Best in your life. Because we are better ankle breakers together. Yeah, keep yeah, walking. Yeah. Keep walking. I'm gonna break your ankle. Break okay. mine? No. I'll break yours. I'm gonna kiss it. Training Center making his debut, and he is a big boy, Vic Slohan. Kind of reminds me of a rather young Jerry Crusher Blackwell, if you will. In that. I could see that for sure, definitely. I, he, do not, I do not believe tonight he will have the success of one Jerry Blackwell. Well, Vic Slohan, this is his very first match ever. And what a challenge getting in the ring with a true talent in the world of professional wrestling, Cam Stewart, a man who has recently wrestled for WWE, NXT. This is someone that's on the radar all over the wrestling world right now. All over the wrestling world, all over the internet. This guy is just, just blowing everything up right now. Oh, clothesline out of nowhere. Takes this rookie down hard. And notice who he's got by ringside, the captain. Whoa, but wait a minute. Ray comes back, lifts him up. Oh, almost had him, had him in a power slam position. But Cam Stewart went right to the eyes. 
Oh, clothesline in the corner, another one. Wow, we are seeing a vicious Cam Stewart here this week. Usually he plays around a lot, but apparently he came here to prove a point to everyone this week. Everyone that's watching right now at home here on WWN Proving Ground. Went for the two count, maybe a little bit early. This kid might be a rookie, but he is a big boy. I'm telling you, he wants that success. He wants the top of the ladder, that Proving Ground title. All these guys go into Aaron Nova to the Alliance. They have success in their minds, and it's working. Well, Aaron Nova, he definitely knows how to pick the talent. Oh! He gets stopped by Ray, has him hooked in chokeslam position, but then gets caught with the Enzo Guri. As with every new wrestler, timing it is everything, and right now this kid is just a second to Oh, play. he plants him right to the mat. I bet this is gonna be over. This was a tough debut for this young man. Cameron Stewart with another win here at WWN Proving Ground, taking another step up that ladder with gold in his eyes. of Micah Madrid here tonight. Micah Madrid, a true superstar in the worlds of women's professional wrestling right now. And you're reigning ACW Women's Champion. Exactly, she has been going all over the world, all over the country with those belts defending them. And why she decided to come on Proving Ground tonight, I'll never know, but I'm so very happy. Well, she knows that Proving Ground is the place to be seen right now. People from all over the world, not just wrestling fans, but top promoters, top matchmakers all over Watch Proving Ground every single week. And that's why she's here. And Eliza Hayes, Eliza Hayes stepped right up when she heard that Michael was coming back to Florida and said she wanted a shot at the Women's Championship, and here she is. Can you imagine what this would do for the career of Eliza Hayes if she was able to walk away with the ACW Women's Championship tonight? 
It'd be very impressive for her, though, to be honest. I, I don't think I would be as thrilled because it'd be more flowers and more love and more. What do you got against? What do you got against flowers and love, Vic Slohan? Come on. Pro wrestling. This is about competition. Well, Liza Hayes, I can tell you right now. She is a top competitor in the world of professional wrestling. Right now, she is taking it right to Mike Madrid right here, going for the arms right now with that wrist lock, going up to an arm bar. Oh, Micah coming back with some shots, shots to the chest right there. Sends her into the roast reversal by Liza. Nice arm drag over, brings her to the mat again. And Eliza Hayes is taking control early in this match. Running in, oh, a little bit of a rear to the face there, but Eliza Hayes. And using all the advantages you got, she's been working on that left arm, which I like. The challenger right now showing a lot of spunk here. Scoops her up, belly to back, suplex by Eliza Hayes. Going for the pin wisely. She needs to go for the pin every chance she can because she is literally three seconds away at any time from becoming the new ACW Women's Champion. And that's why I think Madrid decided, hey, it's a good idea to get out of the ring, recalibrate, and this is also good for the challenger Hayes to recalibrate also. Well, it's trying to regroup, but Eliza Hayes is right on top of her. Micah drops her throat first on the top rope. See, she left herself open, and now the champ's in control. Micah Madrid, a true champion and a truly smart competitor in the ring. Notice with Madrid, she, she thought she got that three count, but after a second, she's like right back to the action, right back to the, to the aggression right here. Well, she's got the experience behind her here. This, this lady, as young as she is, is still a true veteran and wrestles all over the world every single week. She is on the road wrestling the top, top women's wrestlers in the world. And this could be it. Oh, she was, did you notice there she was grabbing the rope for a little bit of extra you sure advantage the other, right it there. Wasn't Hayes grabbing the rope there. I'm a little surprised right now. I'm a little surprised that she, a champion like Mika, would be doing something like that. I'm really surprised. I think, I think. It was just, you know, a situation. They were just close to the ropes. A hand goes on to the ropes. These things happen. You well, know you're making happen. excuses here for Micah, but she is a veteran that doesn't need to resort to those types of tactics to win a match. Obviously, Eliza Hayes has given her a little bit more trouble than she was expecting at first tonight. That's true. And she has Hayes. Well, she had Hayes right where she wanted her, but Hayes going back to that left arm and out to the solar plexus. Both girls right now standing tall, firing some shots at each other. Let's see what Madrid has set up. Nice suplex. Oh, I blocked don't know. Blocked by Hayes, blocked again by Hayes. Brings Micah Madrid, the champion, over with a suplex. Going for the pin, one. One count only, Micah Madrid is out. God, Hayes could make Woodstock, New York back on the map again after 50 something years if she can get the win tonight. Wait a minute, you're forgetting about Woodstock two and three, but. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Micah going for the pin. Two count only. Liza Hayes is not ready to succumb to the champion. Micah Madrid needs to get right back on top of her. Hooks her in that reverse chin lock, trying to wear her down at this point so she can attempt to put her away. She's definitely been working a lot of the shoulders, the head, trying to work on that neck throughout the course of the match, even when she was on defense, especially when they were on the ropes about a few minutes earlier. This is very important for Mika Mad uh, Madrid here to defend her title. She's in full control right now, but Eliza Hayes is coming back, driving those elbows. Mika misses with a clothesline, catches one from Eliza Hayes, catches an elbow. Micah Madrid is in trouble right now after a big chop. Micah's in a lot of trouble. She needs to go back to somehow getting Hayes down. She is in trouble. Liza Hayes with all her weight coming onto Micah Madrid right there. Comes back, attempted it looked like a famous serve, but Micah Madrid out of the way. Liza ahead of the ropes, catches the corner. Micah Madrid, what is she setting her up for? She hooks her, and oh my God, she is absolutely stretching her, using the ropes. 
Nice tarantula. But right now, the champion needs to stay in control. She's got Hayes down on the ground. Well, Eliza Hayes is in trouble right now. We're gonna see if Micah can follow up here and put the champion away. Running Bulldog drives Eliza Hayes down, rolls her over, hooks the leg, one, two, and it is a three count. Your champion retains her title. not finished with Eliza Hayes attacks her again. I mean, come on, she got the win. What is going on here? I think, I think Eliza said something a little naughty in the ring, perhaps, you know? Apparently, Mike in Madrid with the exclusive. the DOM the last time he was out in the Rumble a few weeks ago. Tonight, though, his level of competition shoots tr tremendously up against Tyler Uriah of the Nova Alliance. Tyler Uriah, the enforcer of the Nova Alliance. And yeah, it's a big test for the DOM right here. But we're gonna see what he has, what he's made of against Tyler Uriah right now. I think I can see this going Uriah's way, and the Nova Alliance goes through a four, four for four tonight. That's what they'll be. It very would, very well could be that way. Big Slohan, I've got to leave the booth for a minute. I'm gonna actually leave you in full control. You're of gonna this leave match. me in full That's control. That's right. Of this I've got to get. So I got to talk to Commissioner Rick Thames and get to the bottom of what's been happening with Andy Mack and Stephen Frick. I'm gonna do your job, and I'm gonna be the journalist and find out what's going on. Which means I have to do your job. Unbelievable. Well, as you can see, these two have the collar and top, the uh, collar and elbow tie-up going on in the corner. There's a lot that's been going on tonight, folks, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Or at least that's what my broadcast partner, Sean Davis, has said. We get into this match, and DOM going, going right for the gun. Takes him down, goes for a drop kick. So he's using a lot of uh, basic maneuvers and drop kicks in there. A nice mix, and Uriah Say he needs to be a little quicker against the DOM. 
Goes for the cover. Little too early, but he's got his rhythm right now. Uriah just biding his time. Just knows he just needs one mistake out of the DOM and he can take back over. And that mistake might be because of the genius right here, the Captain Aaron Nova sees something wrong in the ring. Meanwhile, though, it does not affect the DOM. He continues in control with those right shots to Uriah. Trying to measure him up to go to the other side. Whip into the corner. Just everything tonight going the DOM's way. The, the enforcer, the Nova Lions right now, just can't seem to get it together. Nice reversal, though. Just one mistake in pro wrestling, folks. That's all you need. And the DOM right now is shaking. The enforcer has him exactly where he wants him, though he's huffing, he's puffing, he's hurting a little bit. Throws him into the corner and starts putting the boots to him, just like any good wrestler would. It's exactly the type of things at Proving Ground. You know, it's great to learn. Go you know, all the chain wrestling jumping off the top ropes, drop kicks, your finishing maneuvers. But in the world of pro wrestling, you need to, you need to get in the trenches. You need to choke somebody down. And right now, it's Uriah who's staying in control, though he's taking in some offense from the DOM. Gets him over to the ropes. That's right, make sure you, that's right. Keep, keep away from Jim Bragg. He doesn't need to see that. The ref does not need to see this whatsoever. And we got that death match coming up next. That is going to be insane. We're getting answers right now about the fallout from the Cruiserweight Championship match. Right, I'm back, dude. Were you, were, you, were you playing nice Vic Slowhand while I was away or what? I don't know. I think YouTube might have shut me down. I'm not quite sure. Well, I can see that Tyler Uriah appears to be in control of the DOM at this time. You know who wouldn't shut me down? Who's that? WWNlive.com. That's I'm right. Member, baby. Well, WWN got Club WWN, don't forget. WWN, yeah. Right. Club WWN, where all the fans in the know, the top wrestling fans in the world, are all members of Club WWN. And if you're on the fence, you need to check it out right now. Everything that you get as a member. Now, the DOM is fighting back here. By the way, I was able to pin down. Rick Thames and appeared that he was still trying to keep Andy Mack and Stephen Frick away from each other down there. They were still trying to break up this fight. Keep them down there. Don't bring them up here. That's all I know. Nice up. Nice holding to the ropes by the DOM. It's been a pretty even matchup between these two right now. Both guys now fighting them for position. DOM goes in for that wrist lock. Now looks like he's trying for that side rush and leg sweep and he hits it. Oh, he hits it, but he needs to go for that cover. DOM on top. Oh, very close to the three cap, but we know what close only counts in what, Vic Slohan? Oh, uh, would that be horseshoes and hand grenades? Yes, going back to our childhood of watching Gorilla Monsoon. I never liked Gorilla Monsoon. Oh, he seemed like a nice, lovable ape of a guy. Elbow by the DOM. Tyler Uriah is in big trouble. Two count only. Tyler Uriah manages to kick out. I'm looking at his eyes right now. I'm a little worried. I think the DOM has him on Dream Street right now. Tyler Uriah is being absolutely rocked by the DOM and the fans are behind him right now. Comes out, boot to the midsection. Double under hook. What's he going for? Uriah out, sends him in. Reversal by the DOM. Uriah into the corner, but the DOM misses. Oh! Tornado Lariat by Tyler Uriah. And I believe that is over. Valiant effort by the DOM, but Tyler Uriah with another big win. It was like a big physical chess match out there between two guys, an excellent match, but in the end, it's the enforcer, Tyler Uriah, and a 4 for 4 sweep for the Nova Alliance. That's right, another big win for the Nova Alliance. This is quite a night for them. Well, wait a minute, they did get the loss by Tito Torres. It was, that was not a win, by the way. That's subjective. Okay, we'll see about that. Superstar, 
Oh, wait a minute. What's going on, Big Sloy? We're, we're at an intermission here at Proving Ground, but apparently the fight has broken out again between Andy Mack and Steven Frick. This is absolutely nuts. What is going on here? I went downstairs and that whole place is completely trashed. It looked like a it looked like a storm went in through in there. And yeah, they, they need more help than this. This is out of control. Well the locker room, the locker room is cleared here as the fight between Andy Mack and Stephen Frick is back on here. Oh I Steven Frick, Andy Mack doing everything they can to try to get to each other here. Yeah, now the the Mr. Rick Thames is out now. I was about to say the commissioner has finally come out. He needs to he needs to do something about this situation. These two just want to tear each other limb from limb, and it's been that way for a long, long time. These guys are going at it here. Half the locker room is cleared to try to pull these guys apart. It's sort of like a final battle, Superstar. It sounds like Commissioner Rick Thames wants these guys to do a final battle. When we have a final battle here in Proving Ground, it means these guys can never wrestle again at WWE Proving Ground. It's literally the last time these guys can ever wrestle, last time they can ever fight. March 17th, it's been, it's been signed, apparently. Yeah, these guys... These guys want to do it right now, apparently. But we still haven't gotten these guys back to the locker room. We need we need some definite help. Hey, Frick, I'm going to show up. March 17th, I'm going to find some great excuse to have to beat him. I'm going to kick your head. Come on. I'm going to kick your teeth out of the booth. I'm going to pull your hair out of the roots. Come on, Frick, you know what? Oh, this situation's getting more dangerous. They could fight right now. They need to get more help. They need to get some cops in here and break these guys up. We already have enough carnage and violence for back, tonight. Back on Steven Frick. The fans are finally dragging him out. Things are absolutely out of control here at WWE Proving Ground tonight. This feud between Andy Mack and Steven Frick has gotten absolutely crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, Superstar. I, am well, I have never seen anything. This is the one year anniversary of the return of WWE Proving Ground. I have never seen anything like this. Finally, Commissioner Rick Thames has gotten things under control, gotten them to the back, and things will be settled on March the 17th in a WWE Proving Ground final battle. No disqualification, no count out. Anything goes as the last time these two can ever, ever face each other in the ring. We're good. We're all good. We're all good. March 17th. Yeah. March 17th. Come on, let's go. We're not going to lose round. Okay.
Big Sohan, are you ready? It's time for the Cyclone Death Match, our first here at WWF Proving Ground. There's a fans, I hope you're ready because this is gonna be one of the craziest matches you have ever seen here tonight. They're starting out hot and heavy. Scyther and Gus de La Vega going right at it. Well, there's no love lost between these two. Gus de La Vega starting with trying to take Scyther's head off with the ACW tag team title, but now Scyther biting the face of De La Vega. Yeah, I wish the ref would do so. Oh, wait a minute. There's no referee in this ring, is there? There is no referee for the first half of this match. Basically, eight men, all eight men have to have entered the ring before a referee comes in. There is no way to even win this match at all, all eight men. This is strictly about revenge. This is about hatred. This is about trying to hurt the, each other and trying to settle this feud once and for all here in WWF Proving Ground. Scyther trying to take a bite out of crime or the face of Gus De La Vega right there. I, 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 I don't like the usage of language on that there in Gus De La Vega. Well, I'll tell you, Gus De La Vega, I guarantee, doesn't like what's happening right now to his face as Scyther is going to town trying to rearrange the facial features on Gus De La Vega. Picking up by the hair now. Giant headbutt sends De La Vega. Now, De La Vega hasn't even got his jacket off yet. Well, Scyther's helping him with that right now. I don't think he's helping him. I think he's got something else in mind. Oh, he's going to use it to try to choke Gus De La Vega out. You know, Sean Davis, I was actually trying to get in contact with the set all week. They wouldn't uh, take my phone call or nothing. I went up to Francisco. They Piazza. wouldn't take your phone they would call? Not take I can't my, believe that. I wanted that. to know. I wanted I just a little that. inside peek as to who the mystery guy is. And Francisco Ciazzo called me so many names in Italian that were both offensive and oddly beautiful at the same time. I've never well, talked to him. Well, he does have a way with words. Airplane spin here by Scyther. Gonna send De La Vega off. Wow, De La Vega right into the eyes of Scyther. And then a, blow, a blatant low blow. But again, there are no referees here. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want in this and match. If I'm Gus De La Vega, I'm hanging back. I tell you, I think Gus De La Vega may have incurred the most ring time so far this year in Proving Ground. This guy is constantly in the middle of a war. That is for sure, Vic Slohan. Gus De La Vega. You, uh, you wouldn't know, happen to know who the mystery guy was, right? I, you know what? I, I do not know. I, I mean, I, I've heard rumors, but I don't know for sure. So they set up, snap suplex. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm waiting to see. I, I can't. Gus de Omega right now. I take down Scyther before things get really Gus out of hand. Omega biting the face of Scyther. Yeah, a little tooth for tooth on that one. <laughs> Gus De La Vega, after having a bit of a, a turn of heart here at WWE Proving used to be a true fan favorite, used to be arguably the most popular wrestler here at WWE Proving Ground, now a hated member of the set, coming under the influence of Francisco Chiazzo. And that influence is made of one half of the ACW Tag Team Champions. It has made him rich, it has made him successful, it has made him part of a crew that just cannot be broken. Well, you can't argue with that, Vic Slohan. The set are extremely successful at what they do. Body slam by Gus De La Vega now heading up to the ropes. Go into Has him set. Go into the air, baby. But he misses. That forearm, attempted forearm blow for the second rope. Scyther getting energized here. Headbutt takes down Gus De La Vega again. Another one using himself as a battering ram right here. You know, Scyther trying to get the fans behind him, setting up De La Vega for something. Comes running in, that rolling. Attack to the stomach, comes back with a flying forearm, and Gus De La Vega is in trouble right now. Oh, my.
Uh, it's like he needs help right now because Saito, once he gets on a roll, he's he's destructive. And I cannot stand hearing that hoo, 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 hoo. Every time I'm near the arena, every time I'm near I the know. crowd well, center. I know. Well, that's how he gets himself pumped up and gets the fans pumped up, Vic Slohan. Scyther asking the fans what he should do. Has Gus de la Vega hooked? Is he going to put him in a Boston crowd? Looks like that's what he's attempting. So you don't see very often here. Well, Scyther trying to pull him over. It would, good, it would work for De La Vega a little bit in the sense that there's no referee. And I'll tell right. you, there's no help out, out coming out there. No, either. no. Boston Crab cinched in by Scyther. One of the most painful holds in all of professional wrestling. He is making De La Vega suffer right now. He could crack a vertebrae with that move. Scyther on top. Oh, well, we're going to have the next eight, member here seven, coming in. Six, five. Oh, I can't wait. I wonder who it's going to be. I wonder. Well, we're about to find out the next member of one of these teams. Oh, it's Rich, Rich Portiella. Rich Portiella comes in with the giant clothesline, taking Scyther down. Now the set is going to have a two-on-one advantage here for this next section of this match. They have two minutes with a two-on-one advantage, Vic Slohan, and how is Scyther going to survive this? This oh, is the I type of situation where somebody could be permanently injured. Nope, Scyther's not gonna survive this at all. This is gonna be a real fun two minutes. By both uh, De La Vega and Rich Portaiella, they have got this guy who's been a, a thorn in their side, just a real pest for the past couple of months. Well, everybody involved in this match on both sides, it's absolutely pure hatred between the members of this match. Gorgeous maneuver there by the set. That could easily knock somebody out. The fans getting on the case of the set right now. But I think instead of posturing to the fans, they should be on the full attack of Scyther right now. Oddly enough, I would agree with you in this situation, the way, the seriousness of this match, you need to be 1,000% focused, especially against someone like Scyther, who's just, he's not balanced. Well, again, they're wasting time here because they only have the two-minute advantage, which is almost up at this point, before the other team gets to even the odds. That's how this match works. Every two minutes, a new member of the other team comes in. So they've got the advantage. They need to use it while they have it. You mean the set doesn't get to bring in every one of their guys every two no, minutes? No, 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 no. That's not how that This goes. is like a power play in the Ten, NHL right here. Nine, Things are about eight, to be evened up seven, as we're about to get another member of the opposing four, side here. Three, well, who would want to go in against these two one, guys anyways? Chungus is here. Chungus, the other member of the Mad Men at Work, is in and he's on the attack. Two weeks ago, he was attacked in a gasoline, lot, a gasoline parking lot. He says by the set, there's no proof, but he is on the attack right now. He's coming bunkhouse style. Look at this. And he is ready for revenge. Yeah, this guy's insane. He slips on a patch of ice down here in Florida. Well, and right. he that's what Francisco Chiazzo said. He says he knows he saw the set. They were beating on him. They attacked him from behind while he was trying to pump gas at the gas station. But by the way, that's, you know, that's what it is. That's, that's over with now. What we got right here is an absolute war, and Chungus is in control right now. I'm gonna say, are we done with the two minutes yet? Because this is getting destructive. I don't like this Chungus in here with that story of his destroying the set. Well, Chungus and Scyther now in control. The tide has turned once again here in this Cyclone death match. Ah, oh, this is just, this is almost disgraceful. To see these poor two young strapping athletes. Ayala and Gus de la Vega being manhandled by these, these lunatics, these madmen. Well, you gotta say it was a smart move by Chungus coming in with the jeans on, with his, his fist taped. You can tell he came in here ready for a fight, for a street fight, which really is what this match is. It's absolutely turning into that. This is called a Cyclone death match. It very well could be the death to someone's career here tonight. 
as this is going to be one of the most dangerous matches ever conceived in all of professional wrestling. We're about to get another member of the set's team. Could this be the new mystery member? I hope so. They need something to curb the tide. Look, we've got the answer. We've got the answer. Rafael Delgado is the new member of the set. Last week, he abandoned his partner, Nicholas Quinones, and said it was going to be a new day for, the, for him. And here he is now coming in like a house of fire and on the attack. Also, also dressed for a street fight here. The fans getting on his case right away. This is incredible. What a what a move by the set. Rafael Delgado, he just he was stuck in that poor tag team for so long. I knew he wanted to break away. He wanted to make something of himself. And now tonight, he's got that shot. Well, you know, Rafael Delgado, one of the first graduates of the WWN Pro Wrestling Training Center and was trained by Francisco Chiazzo. So I guess it really shouldn't be a surprise that Chiazzo has had him on the radar here and has officially made him a member of the set. What a time to debut tonight. They are in full control now as once again, the set has the advantage in this match. Three on two for two minutes and they are taking full advantage of that advantage right now. Absolutely, and look at Delgado. Once he said, one of the first students, and now he's got the veteran smarts about him. Now he knows what it takes to get to the top, and it's to do anything you can, anything you must to get to the top of proving ground. That's right, Delgado. He's another one that's made it clear that really the only thing he cares about now in wrestling is getting his shot at the WWN Proving Ground Heavyweight Championship, which he'll have to deal with the champion in this match. Oh, the countdown's coming on. In fact, the champion could be coming now. I'm not sure who the next member of the other team is. Who is it? Oh! Devin Diaz in the match, fly and clothesline takes Gus De La Vega down. Blocks Rich Portaella, picks him up, power slam. Well, this guy is dirty, but he's massively impressive. He's an opportunist. He's Gorgeous jabs followed up by the big right, takes Rafael Delgado down. But look out, here comes Gus De La Vega, but Diaz catches him too. Headbutt brings him down. Going to work on Rafael Delgado, the newest member. Oh, Delgado's fighting back, though. He is here. He's going to take no quarter tonight. It's amazing. Delgado's getting Diaz in the corner. I think they're going to have to almost double up on him. And watch, at the same time, try to keep their focus on the bad man. What a match this is, Vic Slohan. This is a true fight and a true spectacle here tonight. The Cyclone Death Match. Devin Diaz in the ring has even the odds in this match again. And they are on the attack. All right, right, what's Chungus doing? Chungus has got a belt. Are you kidding He's me? got a belt. Oh, he starts trying to whip Rafael Delgado with it, but Delgado is coming back. This is a fight, Vic Sloan. There is nothing pretty about this match at all. There's nothing scientific about this. And this isn't about wrestling. This is about war. I know. This is about Oh, pain. sidewalk slam by Devin Diaz brings Rich Portaella down. This is about pain. This is about agony. This is about misery. All the great things of professional wrestling. Well, Devin Diaz just made a big mistake right there. Again, posturing a little bit, caught the blow from Rich Portaella. We're about to get another member of the set. There's only one man left. Time for the Godfather. Yes, sir, the Godfather of the set. Francisco Chiazzo in the ring and goes on the attack right away here. And now the set will have their last advantage of this match, Vic Slohan. You know what I love about this? The Godfather was outside. He had a pen and paper. He was sizing up everything that was going on. All the advantages, all the disadvantages, what to do in a situation like this. This man is so well prepared and he's got his crew so well prepared. And uh, it's not gonna be long now. Well, this is the last big opportunity for them 
to take over the match with now four on three situation. Oh, beautiful move right there by Gus De La Vega. Somersault attack onto Scyther. And now they're on the attack of Devin Diaz in the corner. Nice, beautiful attack by the Godfather right there with the golf, golf clubs to old Chungus. Looks like he's got his cut open again. Well, very well could be again that he had 12 stitches put in his head during that gasoline, the gas station attack that happened in the parking nice, lot. Nice slippage. Oh, another somersault attack by Gus De La Vega now on Devin Diaz, and the set is in full control right now. Gus De La Vega's just throwing his body at will at everyone. It's just, what an incredible competitor. It's like a human torpedo yeah. out there. And the set, look at this, look at this. The set is in full control of this match right now. Well, we're ready to have one more. We don't need one more. We, we don't need this guy coming through. Well, things are about to, business is about to pick up Big Slowhand because you know who the last member is. Here he comes. It's Jonathan Hudson is in the ring. You want to talk about a cyclone? This is a human cyclone right now. I'm so excited I can barely talk. Backdrop sends Delgado down. Samoa dropped by Hudson to Hudson. Excuse me, Hudson to Rich Portillo. Spinning backbreaker by Hudson takes Gus De La Vega down. And Jonathan Hudson has taken the ring. This is insane. It's like gusts of wind coming in here in this broadcast booth because of the way Hudson is moving around. He's just circling around, oh. destroying everyone. Hudson right went for the chair shot, blocked by Fritz. Whoa, he also catches Hudson with a chair shot straight to the head. Stop the heavyweight champion cold. My God, this match is absolute chaos. I think that's the first time I've seen Hudson down like this. He might be susceptible to the king of the pile drivers. And right now, no matter what, four on four, the set seem to be in control. That's the way I like it. <laughs> yeah, the set is in full control now. And at this point, the match could, is official as far as it could end at this point. It will only end when somebody actually says, I quit. Which is a problem when you have guys like Mad Men at work and Jonathan Hudson and Dan Diaz. I mean, they are all four, eight of these guys. I don't think I've ever heard I quit from any one of them. Hudson, Jonathan Hudson, the heavyweight champion, is on the attack right now. Spine buster. Hudson is in control. It's insane the way the champion just, he just destroys everyone and everything in sight. Oh, and now it looks like they might have a strategy formulating. A little strategy session here. If I was them, I'd get on it right away. That was good. They went from different directions to all four guys in the set. They're going to throw it. It looks like a train wreck situation. All four members of the set collide together. Underhook. What are they going for? Everybody seems to be going. Quadruple figure four leg locks. Quadruple figure four leg locks here. Quadruple, oh my god, I've never seen this before. They hey, the professor, the referee rings the bell. He's saying that's it. The set has submitted. Un Unbelievable, I can't believe this. What a win. What a win here. Jonathan Hudson, Chungus, Scyther, and Devin Diaz have defeated the set. What a match, Vic Slohan. What a match and what a night here at WWN Proving Ground. I am flabbergasted. I cannot believe for a second that the set was left laying in here by these guys, but I, I got to hand it to them. It was the rules but of the which match. One, which one quit? Who quit? I don't like any of Which them. Which one quit? Well, they're all blaming each other here, apparently. No one wants to admit that they quit. Maybe, they, maybe it was the referee's fault. Maybe the well, referee The, the referee heard somebody said that, that they quit. That's the only way this match could end, is if someone quit. I didn't, I didn't 
see any of these guys say I quit. Well, we, we're not, we don't have the, 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 we're not in the sight of the action like the referee is, Vic Slowhand. Obviously, he heard someone say, I quit, and that is what ended this match. Unbelievable. I got eagle ears. I, I didn't hear I quit, but nonetheless, well, referee's decision. Well, Vic Sohan, what a night it was here at WWF Proving Ground. Fans, I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait for next week. You never know what's going to happen here. For Vic Slohan, I'm Sean Davis, and we will see you next time. Huh? <laughs> we ain't done with you! We ain't done with you! Get him! 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 Choke him! Choke him! Get him! Choke him! Choke him out! Yeah! You want me to party? Yeah! Huh? You want to make the set? I do! You choke him! Yeah. Uh, choke him! Yeah. Uh, choke him! Uh, choke him! Uh, choke him! Uh, choke him! Uh, right uh, now. You're finished! Uh, You're finished! Uh, Your days are done! Your days are done! Uh, uh, let's get out of here, boys! Get out of here! John! John! Somebody help! Help! Somebody help! <laughs> Yo, right, on your side, on your side, on your side. <laughs> <laughs> the set, the set. They're responsible. Yeah, wow. The set come out here and he jumped them, all four of them. Oh, come on now. What happened? They jumped all four of them right. down here. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Hold that door. Hold that door. Come on, guys. Michael James standing here with the victorious Dirty Devin Diaz, Mad Matt Work, and your reigning WWN Premier Ground Heavyweight Champion, Jonathan Hudson. Big win tonight, fellas. Big win tonight. Yeah. Jonathan, brutally attacked by the Set Incorporated. How are you guys feeling, though, after the game? The Dirty Man's here with the winner. The Dirty Man's here with Big Scyther. <laughs> Jumbo Daddy and the champ. But the Dirty Man is fired up. The Dirty Man cannot believe what the set did out of the champ. The Dirty Man cannot believe what the set did to Jumbo Daddy here. Let me tell you something. The Dirty Man is pissed off and set. Yeah, Daddy, you fixing the field. The Dirty Sensation. Jumbo, let the boys know how you feel. Oh, yeah. Every second, every minute, every day, every week. We lost those ACW tag team titles and a dark cloud over the madman's head and the cut the set they cut every quarter they could and they jumped me two weeks ago in the parking lot but I am back you couldn't keep me down tonight that black cloud is lifted and it's not about Chungus anymore it's not about the madman no tonight it's about Hudson it's about Hudson because of what they did to him so you think this is over I'm telling you right now it will never be over. Never. Never. Hello, Hudson. Never. <sighs> I'm going to try and make this as short and sweet as possible. Right, set. You call yourself a bunch of wise guys. You hit me from the back. You hit me while my team, while my family, while my friends weren't even around. It's starting to come out who my family is. It's starting to come out about the Hollywood side of my family. But no one talks about my Sicilian side. No one talks about how I am a Salerno. That's a from the hip right there. You can Google it. That Tony Salerno's my great uncle, the leader, the boss of the Genovese family. Yeah. <laughs> so Seth, you want to play a bunch of wise guys with me? That's no joke. Google it. 
I'm a Salerno. That Salerno blood runs through my veins. You want to play dirty? <laughs> You're playing with another wise guy. <laughs> a cop will come up and let you know he's there, a wise guy. I'll just put one in the back of your head. And that's what I'm going to do next week to Rafael Delgado. <laughs> <laughs>